Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and as requested, we're going to be looking at the AMD side of this benchmark this time around. Running Dota 2 on Windows 10 and Ubuntu 15.04 on the AMD R9 390. I'm going to be running the Mesa 11.1 drivers on Ubuntu and the Catalyst 15.7 drivers on Windows. Now, as many of the Windows users have requested in the past video, which surprises me, they want to see it in OpenGL instead of DirectX 11. So this time around, I'm doing it OpenGL to OpenGL, so it's as close as apples to apples as I can get. So let's go ahead and see the results. Starting right off the bat, we're going with 720p at minimum settings, and we're seeing Ubuntu take a lead with 12 frames per second on average, which is pretty surprising to say the least. Now bringing it up to maximum settings at 720p, once again we're seeing Ubuntu take the lead but this time with 20 frames per second difference which is also pretty surprising that it's overall uh, taking a lead, not just in the average frames per second just now. At 1080p minimum settings we're only seeing about a 14 frames per second difference with Ubuntu once again in the lead. Now we're going to push it all the way to the max that I can do which is 1080p maximum settings and here we only really see a 3 frames per second difference, but nonetheless, window, uh, Ubuntu is once again in the lead. See, I'm so used to saying Windows is in the lead, this is pretty surprising regardless. So here we have the side-by-side -side comparison, Ubuntu on the left and Windows on the right. Now as we noted just now at 1080p, we noticed that Windows was able to jump to a high frames per second, but as you'll notice through this comparison, the Windows side likes to drop a lot. While Ubuntu generally has consistent frame rates, it moves up and down slowly, the window side jumps very high, then goes very low, then very high again, resulting in an average that is slightly less than Ubuntu overall. Regardless though, this is OpenGL versus OpenGL, the only real difference being that one is Windows, one is Ubuntu, and the other being that I'm running the open source drivers on Ubuntu while I'm running Catalyst 15.7 on Windows. Still, this is pretty impressive results because considering all, all, all my benchmarks in the past, usually we would see a very large difference with Windows in the lead regardless of the API being used. This time around, however, when the APIs are the same, we are seeing a greater lead on Ubuntu overall. Well, I wouldn't say it's a greater lead, but it's enough so that it's a suitable experience even if you're playing it on Ubuntu. Now I have a feeling that someone in the comments is still going to say, oh, you need to do it in DirectX 11, it's not fair. It's I have done it in DirectX 11, and when I did it in that, solid. in the NVIDIA video, people were saying it's really not fair for Windows. So hopefully this puts that to rest, because we're doing it on OpenGL versus OpenGL. On top of that, AMD support is greater on Windows than it is on Linux, so by right, Windows should have the lead all the way around, but it doesn't here very clearly. So the drops can get painful, but they are not below 60 frames per second at any given time. So it's pretty okay. If you're running a 120Hz screen though, you may suffer quite a bit regardless of operating system here. But if you're running a 60Hz monitor like I am, it will be totally smooth and fluid. In a moment, in this comparison, you're going to see that it's uh, things get bit, bit hectic when once I die here. There we go. Things start to get really heavy here. Now this benchmark isn't exactly the same as the one that I did last time because the updates to Dota 2 rendered my previous demo file unusable so I didn't have to do a new one. So that's it for the side-by-side -side comparison. Alright, summary time. Now these results were a lot more than I expected to be totally honest and it's probably going to piss off a couple of uh, indie Linux gamers. I was expecting 50% of the performance of Windows. That's to say I was expecting Windows to take the lead by 50%. Genuinely, this is what I thought would happen, but looking at the results, it's completely a different turnaround. The fact that Ubuntu is in the lead, even though we're using AMD drivers here, is, is a game changer, at least for Dota 2 and Source 2. Now, the sad thing is that this is Radeon SI, which means anyone who's on the Catalyst drivers or the R600G open source drivers, you guys will not be seeing the same performance. Some of you might be wondering why I didn't use Catalyst 15.7. That's because the driver completely doesn't work at all. I can't get it installed or working no matter what I do. I've tried everything I can from manually installing it, downloading the PPA from XOR Xorg Edgers, manually building it myself, even going up to Ubuntu 15.10. Now as you see here in this short clip, it's completely destroyed my system and this is why it took so long for this benchmark to come out. I finally gave up on Catalyst 15.7 and just used the latest Mesa. 
Now I didn't use the latest Catalyst on Windows either because of a similar problem. 15.8 Beta would not draw the screen properly many times. Uh, applications wouldn't be fully drawn properly. So I was forced to use Catalyst 15.7 there as well. So unlike the results with the Nvidia card, we're not seeing as big a gap, but it is interesting that the tables have reversed. The one thing I can say though is that unlike the Nvidia experience where I could say that if it's on my card I experience that, most of you can experience that. The situation with AMD isn't exactly the same. I'm not sure how many of you will be able to achieve what I've achieved in terms of results. Uh, older cards, 6000 series and below, probably won't be able to experience this kind of change, but I do believe 7000 series and above may experience this. Go ahead and try it yourself and let me know what you get. If I made any mistakes, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching.